Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about exponential growth and decay. This is our exponential formula. It's y equals a times b to the power of x. Let's break down what each part of this formula means. A is always going to be your starting point. Your B is going to be your rate of change. And your X will always be time. This B value is very important. If the B is greater than 1, so if this value is greater than 1, it shows growth. Okay, we're talking about a growth formula. If B is essentially between 0 and 1, it would show decay. Keep those things in mind. We're going to look at just a couple examples of us just using the formula um, and subbing some different things in. Let's look at this example. Y equals 5 times 2 to the power of X. So 5 is our A, 2 is our B, and we're going to sub some things in for X to see what we get for Y. I've got my y equals, so my y's alone, so I'm going to go to my y equals function, and I'm going to type this in. So 5 times 2 to the power of, so you use that little caret, x. And then you're going to hit second graph. That's going to pull up your table. So in this case, it's wanting to know what if x is 2. So let's find that. Where is x 2? Right here. What is y? 20. What if x is uh, 4? What is y? 80. And what about if x is 6? 320. So you can absolutely go through the process of plugging each of these values in for x and solving. It's good to be able to know how to do that, but it's also good to know how to take shortcuts when you can. So that's a very easy shortcut to take. What about over here? So we've got another example. I'm going to clear out what I had put in for y equals, and I'm going to use this new equation. So negative 0.5 times 2 to the power of x. Okay, I'm going to hit second graph. And you'll notice I don't have any x values filled in here. It's going to do that to you sometimes, and it's going to want you to pick x values and fill in y values. Um, so just you want to pick out some good x values. You wouldn't want to say pick negative 3 because that's going to give you this long decimal. All right, we don't want to deal with that. So let's start with just things that, that look good. So 0 um, would be negative 0.5. Okay, so if x was 0, y would be negative 0.5 or negative 1 half. Okay, what about if x was 1? then y would be negative 1. What if x was 2? y would be negative 2. What if x was 3? y would be negative 4. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.